relationship with God. And then we spent time talking about man's relationship with man. We talked mm -hmm. about friendship and how important it is to allow the Holy Spirit to be a part of that friendship stage. And, and that, uh, you know, you learn a lot in friendship that will carry you through your marriage. And so now, for the last week or two, we've been in that uh, relationship dealing with marriage. And so I want to begin in 1 Peter chapter uh, chapter 3. You know, I think we made this statement too last week that without Jesus, nothing can be held together. Mm -hmm. Without Jesus, nothing can be held together. And every successful marriage in the kingdom of God always has, always has a third party. And that third party is Jesus. Amen. Every successful marriage in the kingdom of God always has a third party. And that third party is Jesus. Amen. Now, I want to go through 1 Peter chapter 3. Now remember, this is grace-based relationship. So you're going to look at a lot of things that have, have been said about this. And, you know, when, when, you, when I believe your eyes are going to be open to this, that's going to really bless you. But the first word presents a problem that a lot of people had to look at. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1, and that word is likewise. Or in, the, or in the same manner as. So he says, likewise, you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word of God, they also may without the word of God be won by the conversation of the wives. Now, several translations says, likewise, you, you wives, be in submission or subjection to your, uh, your husband's authority. And that's not what that means. Likewise, it says, it says in the same manner as, in the same manner as wives be in subjection to your husband. So the first question we've got to ask is what manner is he talking about? Be in subjection, in other words, be in, be in subjection like this. So we gotta go and find out what that this is. We, obviously there is a model that he is saying, I want you to be in subjection according to this model. I want you to be in subjection to your husband according to this model or in this particular manner. Where how are you going to know how to be in subjection to your husband according to this manner or this model if you don't know what the model or the manner is? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. 